Welcome ladies and gentlemen back for another high level match of Warcraft 3 here taking place at Echo Isles. Had his back with his overlay and of course I'm going back personally to use it because I feel like he's way better. I'm just going to squeeze my camera down in the bottom left corner as you can see already. And we got here coming out of China to the right side. The best, I would say, confidently human in the world currently. That is Fortitude, also known as Romantic back in the day, versus his opponent. Probably, I would say, my favorite undead player to watch in recent times. That is Labyrinth. I mean, out of South Korea. And I put him as the third best undead in the world. Slightly ahead of X Lord, just a touch, but that's my personal opinion. I know the German audience is huge in the Warcraft community, so they probably, some of them at least, would think that X Lord is better. I don't think so. But definitely not a match for Happy or 1 to 0. Certainly make uh, their life very difficult when he plays them. Same goes for X Lord as well, by the way, but. Not the same. Fortitude going for the Archmage. And he's taking on the top green cam. Okay. This is what uh, Sok did on the game we have casted yesterday. Which was on Echo Isles as well. Okay. Ringer protection plus four. Ooh. And Fortitude, I dare say, is even quicker than Sok already. Way quicker. He's going to finish off the rest with the Militia. And now bringing the second footy here with another Water Elemental to take it on the second camp already. Now, on the opposite end, we've got Labby with the Mercenaries already, Shadow Priest. And he's got Close of Attack plus four. Ooh. Gauntlet, second item for... 40. Uh, I think Labby is with a very good item for the Lich especially. Claws also um, being nerfed now from plus 5, plus 4. Which to me I probably mentioned already. Some of those, most of the changes in this patch honestly make no sense to me. But who I am to talk about it... Uh, you know, I don't want to be one of those experts keep talking about patches and stuff. Well, we're just going to take it as it is. Plus, as I said, I always like to watch it positively. So let's just wait and see. Let's wait and see how the whole thing plays out. Lich with Ringer Protection second. And Ringer Protection plus three now. Plus four and plus three. That's plus seven armor in total for the Lich. <laughs> and he's got the claws already. And he's level 2. Ooh. Labby already with the sick items on the ledge. He's about to be mining soon. 40 though. Taking on the gold mine up in the north. That's kind of how Sok won the game. Which I casted yesterday. Between him and 1-0. Humans, would you look at that? Humans look like uh, they're coming up with some new stuff for the new patch. And even MK has been played way more often as a first hero. And I'll be the first one to admit, actually. So all of a sudden looks a bit entertaining because one thing so get accused of very often by the Warcraft community, like he, he can get very boring to watch in a sense where he just uses the same strat over and over and over again and sometimes he likes to play these toxic tactics and although everything is fair at war if somebody pointed that out to me a long time ago but nevertheless in comparison to what sok used to do which i agreed he was kind of playing the same tactic all the time but 
on a very high level though. Um, all of a sudden, he's going for MKs first and doing rifles, uh, you know. And it's like, wow, where was this sock hiding all along? Now Ford is going to come looking for some easy acolyte kills perhaps, but there's too many ghouls in the main base. Also, Labi gets the stuff from the merchant and he teleports back home to defend, bringing more ghouls, bringing the mercenary with him as well. That's exactly what Labi is, uh, 40 is targeting and he kills the Shadow Priest. Perhaps he's going to lose the Water Elemental now. Pretty much inevitable. Graveyard on the way. Altar of Darkness. And there's still no tier 2 for... Oh. He's actually ahead. He's actually ahead. Not only he does tier 2, but he's actually ahead. I was paying attention on the fight so much. More towers and a shot with the expansion. I like that a lot by Labby. Uh, by 40. I keep mixing them up. I don't know why. It's not that hard to differentiate. Clearly, Labby is the undead player. Forty is the human. Forty might take the shop out here. And I would say if he managed to do that, that would be a successful attack here. Or if he can cancel the graveyards, even better, in my opinion. He's got the Ring of Regen. And you can see that Archmage is regenerating health so nicely here. More footmen are coming. Oh, that's going to be cancelled graveyard and a dead shop. Oh, Labby is in all kinds of problems now. Different kinds of problems he didn't want to face in this game, believe me. But now he has to deal with a Lich. He's teleporting back home again. Lich is level 4. If anything... Oh, Labby cancelled? Hold on. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's going into tier 3. No, he cancelled it. No, he didn't. <laughs> oh, and that's a DK second. An MK second. And they're both going into tier 3. 40 with the lumber research. Another barracks as well. Two, blacksmith, more towers, oh my days. 40 doesn't play no games. Graveyard has been built at the expo, meanwhile. And a second crypt for Labby. And he's going for the shop again. DK is out on the map now. Labby taking on the orange Merlot camp, which is on 40 side of the map. He's kind of getting greedy, but he's kind of have to because... Fortitude is in the lead so far. Yes, his hero leveling is uh, lower. But he cancelled the graveyard earlier. He killed the shop. And he clearly getting rid of the new shop as well. Killing ghouls. He's, he's about to kill a lot of acolytes here probably. No. Oh, Labby tried to... Fake TP here. But 40 is not even budging one bit at all. And he continues the raid. And this undead base soon will look like proper graveyard if this continues. Oh my days. Oh my days. And also 40 is creeping with the MK. Labby is trying to intercept is creeping but all these acolytes okay labby can replace them from the expansion tier 3 is about to finish now and now the archmage is making his way to the expo oh we're going for banshees hold on banshee slaughterhouse shop is there as well mk Creeping solo. We're going for gyros. Now okay, sanctum. Okay. Knights on the way also. Upgrades. Ooh, everything seems on point. Upgrades for Labby as well though. Now the Archmage in a little bit of 
Trouble Goo Frenzy also has been trained in the crypt now. Ghouls are chasing. Statue's out. Okay. Second claw. Now with the Orb of Corruption. Ooh. Labby is definitely still in the game. I wouldn't say that Fortitude is way ahead of Labby. I say he's got a tiny, tiny advantage. But the main thing though is he's, he claimed his gold mine and this gold mine is secured safely. And that's the only thing that worries me for uh, Labby at the moment. Aladdin is now out as well at tier 3. No third hero for Labby so far. Hold on. It looks like he's sending a statue to the tavern. Or is he? No. Going to support the undead army right away. 40 with the spellbreakers. Okay, we got a ring on the DK as well. And a small inver potion. Mana potion. Dark Ranger for, for, uh, for Labby. Why am I keeping? <laughs> Why do I keep confusing the two? I don't understand. Like, Labby, as far as I know, has never played human. Woody's never played <laughs> undead. So why am I keep... One is Korean, one is Chinese. Like, what's wrong with me? It doesn't matter. Woody coming in the middle of the map, contesting the marketplace. Woody MK picks up a big invo and a ring plus four is given to him. Also, those human heroes got silenced, well, only the MK looks like. And 40 loses a knight here as well. And Labby is about to finish the marketplace. Oh, this mortar team though. More knights. Of course, that's going to be mortar teams. 40 knows he's up, going to be facing Banshee soon. And he's getting himself ready. And there is the master training and the Banshee being queued next. Abominations. For Labby also on the way. This is insanity. Now Foot is about to take on the mercenary camp here. We got the first Star for Sanctuary on the Archmage and a Heal Potion for the Pali. I'd say he needs... Okay, Talisman of Evasion for the MK. Let's move to Labby. Who is taking down on the bottom Giant Sea Turtle, level 7. DK hits level 3, Lich hits level 5. 40 is arriving for the same Sea Turtles. And he finds Labby already here. Labby picks up the Sobi Mask on the DK. He's got three claws of attack on the Lich plus Orb of Corruption. And this Lich is now turning into insanity. This is absolutely insane for Labby. Abomination now on the front lines. Loads of Apple Knights, I think, already. 40 losing in this fight. Uh, for the moment, they are going to respect each other enough. A 40 was trying to claim this gold mine as well, which is his natural expansion. But Labby sees this. And he destroys the towers. He's like, nah, 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 buddy. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Human army regenerating some health. Some knight that's being stuffed out there. More upgrades. So those knights are going to be two and two. Oh, the Dark Ranger. All on a horn. Goes by in a throw of healing. And there we go. The anti-magic shields now are coming. They are coming. And these mortars got nuked very quick one of them survived here but and there's two more three in total all those anti-magic shells now for the undead army 
Gonna be big time. Ooh, Lappy managed to deny the abomination there. And you can see in this fight, Labyrinth is absolutely overwhelming fortitude and forcing him to town portal away from here. He's trying to reclaim this gold mine. That's going to be the key, I guess, for this game. If Fortitude wants to win this, he's going to have to take this gold mine as well. Because at the moment, Labby is already overturning things. If Fortitude had the advantage earlier, he surely doesn't have it anymore. That's definitely Labby. He's got the items now. He's got the level ups on 40 as well. And this Lich is insane. Look at the damage. Plus 17. Okay. Plus 17. That's up to 64 damage at the moment. That's crazy as hell, if you ask me. The DK is plus 7 armor. That's ridiculous. Okay. Let's pay attention here now. Fortitude came in the main base. But Labby teleporting right away. Not gonna give an inch. Lich brave. Ooh, Frost Nova coil. Mortar gets denied. That's a dark ritual on the fiend there. So Labby continues to deny experience to the human player. Archmage is hitting level 4 now. Dark Ranger is hurt in the middle. And there's the coil coming from Labby. Uh, that's another mortar at the back. Labby is not killing it for some reason. Taking care of him now. But also losing a Banshee in the middle. And Fortitude is going for the Banshees first. Now targeting the Lich as well. But there's the other coil coming for the Lich. This statue is in a dangerous position. Labby is microing very nicely here. Continues to save the Banshee. But that mortar team finally takes care of it. And at the moment... Labby is out of Banshees. But he's still got loads and loads of fiends. He's still got a statue. And he's still got an abomination as well. But the undeads can continue to fight. You can never count them out. Ooh, that was a massive plot from the MK though. But Labby continues to take more and more knights with him. Now the MK is in danger in the middle. Oh, that's another knight. Can you take him off? No, Labby is going for the motors. Well, they're the easier targets, to be honest. They are very easy to kill if you find them exposed. And one of them actually surviving in the end. And there's two more on the go. There's more Banshees Labby has prepared. And he's training another one. But he's going to keep him safe for now. Info potion for the Dark Ranger. Greater mana potion and a TP on the DK just in case he needs it. And a small info on the Lich as well. We're going to need more statues. Yep, statues are here. And meanwhile, I see the Ring of Regen is given to the Pali. And we got three Star for Sanctuary. Fortitude is where he wants to be really in a game against Undead. He's already there. One more thing I'd say. Retrain the Archmage. Relearn his skills. And quit the Water Elemental now and go for Blizzard. I really like the Blizzard transition yesterday uh, between Soke and 1-0. to zero. So I'd say if Labi um, 40 can do the same. That will probably help him. Furthermore, in the battle. Anyway, 40 is here at the expansion. He killed a couple ghouls there from the get-go. Taking care of some of those towers. But the mortars are now exposed. Oh, and I believe that was what? Three mortars? Three out of four was taken down here? At least two fell down for sure. Um, thought that you're gonna have another attempt to claim the gold mine, but Labby, of course, with a great sense for the game, gonna come to reclaim it. You can see the fiends are three and one. Abomination at one as well. And Labby takes care of the towers. The expansion has expired for. Fortitude, by the way, he's killing his own peasants. 
Soon the main gold mine will expire too. Oh, and all of a sudden, Labi continues to gain more and more advantages in this game. I guess that was a little skelly he was using. Okay. Finally, those gyros. Uh, Fortitude, of course, saw the destroyer in the air, so he felt like he had to. Okay, that's the last creep on the map. I guess, well, there's a little green one over here. And that was the giant belt of strength, which was which is in the Dark Ranger right now. Also, Labi must have bought the circlet. I don't think he picked it up here. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Lobby is looking really good, man. Lobby is looking really good. Higher levels on the heroes. Higher upgrades currently. Wow, actually, no, really. Uti's got a lot of upgrades on his army as well. As you can see, the gyros are 3 and 2. Knights are 2 and 2. But Fortitude has got no money anymore. He's running out. Unless he managed to secure this again. He stays with the army this time here. That's a, I have to say, that's a lot of knights here too. But if Labyrinth comes to engage into a fight here, that will certainly be not easy at all. Because we know these knights are... The knights are probably the best melee unit in the entire game. And here we go. Ooh, and Labi doesn't like this fight at all. He cannot take this fight. The motors were well protected at the back. Dark Ranger was in big trouble. And here we go. First Fiend falling down. Abomination trying to surround. Spread the cloud of disease nicely on the human army. I like that move with the abomination at the back. Oh, the MK. The MK is getting targeted. And now he's getting stuffed out of the fight alongside with the knight earlier. So I guess Fortitude's got one more stuff sanctuary to use. Holy Light continues to come from the pally. Another Banshee was lost. Knife falls down and a fiend. Three more banshees are surviving. Labby's pulling them to the side. Knights are chasing them. That mortar started chasing them as well. Another knife falling down though. It looks like Labby is winning the fight all of a sudden. Oh, hold on. There's a cannon tower at the back. Before it should continue to lose more and more units. There's not much left for the human. But nonetheless, he's still overwhelming. And that's a second cannon tower. And Labby's taking the fight by the towers. He doesn't care. He wants he wants the smoke. And he's willing to risk it. And it looks like he's risking everything. Chasing the Archmage. Ooh, Invo Potion though by the Archmage is consumed. And was that not a mistake by Labby now? What do you guys think? Oh, he saves the Archmage though. MK's back in the fight. And I think that was a mistake by Labby. I think this was a mistake by Labby, honestly. He should have not take the fight here. I think the fight was going great for him. He won the fight initially. But then he overstayed. Oh, wait, the MK gets stuffed again. And this is the value of stuff for Sanctuary. Human players, if you're watching this, just take notes. And that's how it's done. All right. That is how it's actually done. And now Labby is uh, Fortitude is down only to one tower. Ooh, can that town hall hold? Uti is nearby. He's gonna defend. He's surely gonna come to defend. Ooh! Hold on. 
Labby is bringing acolytes here. I don't know. Labby seems very brave. I think it's an all in. It's an all in push. But I think Labby was a bit too quick with his judgment here still. Or was it? Dark Rangers level 4. Peasants are dying. Town Hall is about to die. And he dies. Certainly he dies. And 40 is definitely... Out of money now. Labby can TP if he wants. Labby can win this game easy from now on. I guess I misjudged the situation. His aggression actually seems to be paying off. So he can easily win this game. He can just TP now. Regroup, recover. He's still got a thousand gold to work with in the bank. Way more than Fortitude. Fortitude will not get any money anymore. When the MK was in trouble. Forty run away with the MK. Oh, and that should be the GG. That knight was killed as well. That should be the GG, guys. Another abomination arriving. Three statues. There's a Banshee alive at the back. More and more fiends. 1300k gold in the bank for Labby. Soon to be 1400. And he's going for the tower. That was the last tower here. And what do you do if you're 14? I'll just. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's fighting bravely. But that is it, the GG and Labyrinth with the win. Thank you all for watching and listening. And I'm going to catch you on the next one.